Hello everyone, welcome to the Tech Point Africa podcast. So there was a pause because I wasn't sure whether I should be using hello guys, hello everyone, or hello dear. But anyone you want, you can use that. So my name is Tim Godrim and I'll be your host for today. We are going to be having a very interesting conversation. We are going to be looking at something that is fast becoming a well, I call it a fad in Nigeria, buy now pay later. But if you are not Gen Z and you are not born yesterday, you probably have an idea what this is, even though you probably know if you're Gen Z. So as a Nigerian, you probably had your parents send you to go buy stuff at a vendor close to the house, probably a malam, usually not a malam, but you get the point. And then when you get there, the idea is that you buy something and then your parents or you yourself, you pay later in the year or later in the month, sometimes even longer than that. Now, because of tech and how tech always finds a way to put a new spin on things, we now call it buy now pay later. But just to be clear, this is an age old practice that has been happening all over the world. Some people call it layaways, and I don't know what the Nigerian term is, but we will find out um, later. So that's what uh, that's what we are going to be discussing today. What is the future of buy now pay later in Nigeria? And with me in the studio is Oluwatobi Odukoya. He's the CEO of CDK. Um, if you've bought a laptop or phone in the last one or two years, you probably have used CDK. So, hello, Toby. Welcome. All right. So, just before you get into the conversation, um, let me bring a message from my employers as well as from me. The TechPoint Africa FinTech Summit is going to be holding next month, November 26th. And you can go and register. It's I know an Nigerian like waiting until towards the end of like one a day or two. You start hearing people, oh please open the open the portal up, open the portal up. But please try and save yourself that rush. I mean, it's nice, but it's also not nice. So please go register for the fintech summit. When you register, you get to speak with industry leaders. So if you if you're curious, you want to learn about what fintech looks like in Nigeria. Um, like just beyond the shiny apps you see or beyond the shiny interfaces you get to interact with when you download the apps if you want to learn more about the industry if you want to learn about where the industry is moving what some of the brightest minds in the industry are thinking then this is something you want to attend and it's very very cheap 4,000 naira it's cheaper than the price of Uber from the island to the mainland so this is a good time to register and Send a message to your friends. Get as many people as possible to attend. Who knows? It might be the next flutter wave, or you may not. Well, yeah, let's move into our discussion for today. Hi, Toby. Hi. So, um, before we get into the actual discussion, let's talk about CDK. Why did you start CDK? So easy. Um, <coughs> we've, myself and my co-founder, DG, we've been building a, another business in Lagos before we started CDK. Um, mm-hmm. It was computer doctor. We were fixing computers, selling computers. Okay. And as far back as 2010, as a student in FA, I did a loaning laptops game. Um, so I have been in the space of selling gadgets and appliances for a very long period of time. I've sold on Jumia, I've sold on Conga. Um, it got to a point that we realized that <coughs> we are getting more sales of gadgets and appliances. Also, we got a particular partnership for Wani. For Wani is the distributor and the importer of LG, ISS, and Maxi products in Nigeria. So we got their partnership. And we felt, oh, Toby, your father does this at home. He manages a microfinance society that asks people to buy machines, um, cars, and pay in installments. It's a small society. Let's build a tech around this. And we named it CDK. That's okay. how we started because we could afford to buy items at the very discounted rates mm-hmm. and we could build a tech on it yeah. and help people to own items easily. Okay, so is that the case up to up to this point that you can still get um, goods or products at discounted prices? Yes, that is why we also have an e-commerce aspect to it. Um, mm-hmm. Ideally, BMPL that looks like what Klarna, Affirm, and the other popular guys in the Western world does is you partner with an e-commerce website yeah. uh, or you partner with a store offline or online and you finance the purchases. We, on our own end, from experience, decided to run our own e-commerce website alongside building the buy now pay later product in quotes mm. because we understand that e-commerce is still a problem in Nigeria. Um, <clears throat> you buy a TV on Konga, 
it is sub substandard you buy a ju- tv on jumia i'm sorry about that <laughs> but it's, it is the fact mm. it's substandard if you are paying in installments and i deliver a substandard product to you you won't pay so for us to guarantee the payment we have to deliver original products mm. so we have to make sure that we control quality and the only way we can do that is by partnering directly with the top most distributors the verified ones in the country and it helps us also um partnering with jumia or konga in quotes would mean that we have a reduced margin so if you sell a tv on konga jumia is probably taking five percent from what you sell mm-hmm. so if you sell for hundred thousand jumia is taking five thousand I, I, there's no way i can layer bmpl on five thousand that means i and jumia would have to share that five thousand and i want to do zero interest considering the fact that the purchasing power of nigerians are very low if, if I am in the US I can comfortably pay for an iPhone in 4 months mm-hmm. but in Nigeria purchasing power is low paying for an iPhone in 4 months is a big deal that is almost impossible most people cannot afford it. Mm-hmm. so up till now we still do see the care this the way we started um you pay in installments we deliver to you at the midpoint mm-hmm. and we are also doing it most of the products that we sell are, are sourced from original vetted top most distributors in, in the country okay so that means um you mentioned uh, we like delivering the product at the halfway point so if i have like half of the money i don't get my product until it gets to the halfway point yes so we get a question a lot on the cdk in fact it's one of the biggest questions that we get on our in our customer care section um so if you are buying a product that costs on twenty thousand naira, most people want to pay sixty thousand yeah. collect the product and spread the 60,000 over a period of six months. We don't allow that on CDK at the moment. And the argument is simple. Or better still, we've tried it before. Um, we've tried pay half, spread the remaining half. Mm-hmm. It was a disaster. Oh, People okay. were defaulting. And we thought around it, it is simple. How did you get that 60,000? Okay, you saved it. Where did you save it? Okay, somebody gifted you. When you look at the pros and cons, you realize that if you say you can, you think that you saved that sixty thousand in your bank account or with a bank, with a savings app, just come to a CDK. Come and be paying that ten thousand little by little until it gets to sixty thousand. Show us that you are totally consistent. Our only measure of credit worthiness at the moment is that savings period. The fact that you are able to pay consistently over a period of time. And that is why if you use CDK today, <coughs> we are not evasive. We don't ask you for your mother's name, your father's name. We don't ask you to input your GT Bank account login yeah. on the app. We don't ask you for any of those things. It's, it's as simple as show us that you are consistent. And the argument for our product, or better still, the rationale behind our product is simple. Everybody in Nigeria today, no matter how wealthy you are, you have something that you are planning to buy, that you are saving to buy. And that is what CDK does. So CDK might not exactly be your typical BNP. In fact, you can say we are more of a save and pay later truth of the matter is that you get you are planning to buy something and cdk is a better way to plan towards buying that thing because it helps you to become an owner in half of the time it takes you to save the full amount okay so fortunately you can't buy you can't just save up half and then get our product well i guess it's fine um your justification makes some sense so in the last few years we've had buy now pay later grow so um or to use maybe put it another way what um we've had a lot more tech startups um try to offer or offer that service so we have the likes of carbon clump um zilla i even discovered a few in the last one month and yeah, we, are, uh, we, are, we are many <laughs> yes and it's, it's, it's interesting that at the time when the low the purchasing power of nigerians is probably at its lowest in the last 30 to 40 years this is when these guys are springing up what would you say has driven its growing popularity? In my opinion, I just answered that question. <laughs> Purchasing power is low. Okay. I want to buy a phone that, so let's say in the last five years, I'm able to buy a phone out of my pocket from my salary. But now, it's almost impossible. You have to spread payments. And think of it this way. Um, the average person in the US can make $2,000 in a month easily, even if you're a cleaner. Mm-hmm. How much will, how, me, how much in dollars? Would the Nigerian can I make in a month if you look at it? So let's say that cleaner needs to buy a smartphone. If person in the US can choose to spread payments for let's say two months comfortably for a for an hundred dollar phone, 
Mm-hmm. But in Nigeria, it's difficult for a cleaner to spread payments over two months for an hundred dollar phone. So you understand that people use BNPL, they have to spread payments. The purchasing power is very low. And you want something good, you want to buy the original phone, you don't want to buy the fake one. You have to use BNPL to spread payments, and that is why people are embracing it. So what are the benefits of using buy now pay later for both the customers and then the merchants? What's the, what are the benefits? Benefits. Mm. So that's dicey. And I like to say that it's dicey because um, benefit is simple. It helps you to... So let me give you an example. You earn 100,000 naira monthly. You want to buy a phone that costs 80,000 naira. With BNPL, you can choose to say Okay, let me spread this payment for four months, 25, 25, 20, 20,000 naira monthly. And you are still comfortable. You still have enough funds to promote to work. You still have enough funds to feed yourself. But without BNPL, you have to cough out 80,000. And it also means that you would not be able to afford other basic. That means you have to drink Gary for you. <laughs> Probably walk to work or find a way to get to work freely. So it's just comfort, basically. And that's it, comfort. If it is BNPL, if the items are not sold at a very high amount. So what we have seen over time is that phone that costs 80,000 naira will probably be sold for 140,000 naira. And that's, if you look at it, spread over 60,000. Let me see, worst case, the no, best case is, let's say 100,000 naira. Yeah. That's 20,000 on 80,000. If you calculate the percentage over a, over a year, you're spreading for four months. It's a lot if you look at it. Okay. So other platforms, likes of Carbon, um, Clump, they, they spread payments to, so you pay a 25% down payment at first uh, installment, and then the rest over three months. But yes, you have up to 12 months. Why did you decide? I mean, you have shorter loan tenures. Why did you decide to give customers as long as 12 months? So when we were going to launch CDK, we, because we've done this experimentally for a very long time, mm-hmm. um, we it was easy for us to realize that if we wanted to copy Klarna and FM exactly what they do, so we're not working in Africa. And the reason is simple. Like I explained earlier, someone in the US can afford to buy an iPhone comfortably and spread payments over four months because that person earns more money periodically than the average Nigerian. But if you're a Nigerian to buy an iPhone, and spread payments over four months is difficult. Your salary is probably two hundred thousand or three hundred thousand naira. You want to pay hundred thousand monthly, and the iPhone is expensive. And the guy in the US collects or gets two thousand naira, two thousand dollars monthly. That's almost one point four million naira. He's able to pay the an average of five hundred thousand naira monthly comfortably. I'm just giving you that scenario. So what I'm explaining in essence is that for a Nigerian to be able to buy an iPhone comfortably. The Nigerian guy needs a longer spread because of the lesser value of Naira. So you want to spread for 12 months. And that is the reason why we chose to do a 12-month spread when we launched CDK. We realized that hmm, our Nigerian brothers, they don't earn a lot of money value-wise. So to buy a 55 inches TV of 300000 this guy probably can only afford 30000 Naira monthly. That's 10 months, comfortably. And you know that we were careful because one of the things that can kill the business is default when people don't make payments. Yeah. So we wanted people to have the maximum spread. Be able to pay only what you can afford. So you're not under pressure to pay 100000 monthly. You can see that there's an option to pay 30000 monthly and you stick with it. And that is why CDK today, despite being almost bootstrapped, we are running the business and we have we have a very low default rate because we've put all of these things into consideration before launching the product. I remember I said, I learned a lot from my father's little microfinance society back at home. I assisted him to manage it. And there's something that he says every time that people, a lot of people want to pay, but it's because they don't have the ability to pay. When you give people an offer, they jump at it without thinking. And that is one of the backlashes of BNPL in the world today. People will come and tell you that BMPL is causing a lot of problems um, for young people. They are getting a lot of debts without being able to pay back. And that is because 
psychologically you want to jump on it because you feel like this thing is just taking hundred dollars for me at the moment. Mm. You forget that you are still going to pay hundred dollars for the next three months. Yeah. So my father will always say, you have to be very careful. Ensure that the person you are giving a loan to, because that's what BNPL is, can actually afford to pay. That is one of the things that we did with CDK. We know that the average person is earning this amount. The person should be able to spread payments for up to 12 months comfortably. If you check the CDK for cars that we just launched you now, mm. when my mother was going to buy, it was easy for us to make that decision. My mother was going to buy her first car. I, I, I believe she saved for almost more than two years to buy her first car. So we just thought to ourselves that if we are doing CDK for cars, we are going to let people spread payments for 36 months. And we have that on CDK for cars at the moment. Mm. Okay, so CDK for cars, what has been, when, when did you launch? I, I, I don't have the exact date offhand now, but I know it is just over a month, maybe mm. five weeks or six weeks at the moment. Okay, so it may be too early to ask what the reception for that has Good. been. Good, we've delivered a number of cars. I'm not able to give an exact figure on, on this call. The people that have used our four months plan, they paid one of our four when, when we launched. Four months? Four months plan, yes. Oh, they paid okay. one. That means they have money there. They have money now. Uh, they paid one of our four. We have a lot of customers too. Mm. A lot of tech bills in the country. Those are, are the using people them. that we see now that are able to pay a large sum of money on a month, monthly basis. So they can buy an iPhone as per payments over two months. Mm. They can buy a MacBook as per payments over two months. MacBook of 1.5 million. That's because they end reasonably well. They probably end in foreign currency, which explains why they have a good purchasing power. We have seen some of these people use CDK to spread payment for cars for, two, for four months. Pay one, one of our four, month one, month two, they pay one of our four and we delivered their cars to them. And the CDK for cars is also um, similar to regular CDK. You only get the car at the, at the midpoint. midpoint. Okay. So it's funny, the, the way I discovered CDK through was through a tech group. So he was talking about buying, I think, a headset for about was it one fifty thousand or so. So he had used CDK to get it, and yeah. I saw the tweet and checked you guys out. They are our biggest customers, Tech Bros. Thank you. <laughs> we really patronized CDK. We, mm. we ship out MacBooks, tech products, basically tech bro products. You know, the tech yeah. wants to buy an iPhone buy a MacBook, mm. set up space with a big screen, mm. make his space comfortable. We've seen patronage from them a lot. We ship out these products almost on a daily basis. In fact, on an hourly basis, it goes out of our office. So what are the items that the most people or that people get the most on your platform? Big screen TVs. Ah, people don't joke with TVs. So. Interesting. TVs. Even when we have phones. Phones. So the large number we, we ship out a larger number of phones, but I'm saying TVs because for the price. Surprisingly, we thought people were going to use CDK majorly for phones when we launched. Mm. But you need to see how people were buying TVs. I'm like, why would one person want to have two, three TVs? So it was then I realized that most of us grew up in an average national <laughs> home. The only place we <laughs> see TV is in the is in the living room. I mean, is that not is that not supposed to be how it is? Like, no. why do I need a, a, a TV in my living in my bedroom? Nigerians buy TV and put one in the living room, put one in the kitchen, put one in their bedroom. Why? That is so. Maybe you're asking why because you've not gotten to that stage yet. But you get to that stage where I need a TV you every day. TV. You want to put a TV in your room? You want to put a TV in your living room? If that if if it works for you, then why I not? Uh. You want uh, to put a TV in your children's room when you are watching Champions League and your children want to watch their cartoon. I mean, what if I, I watch it I, in their Yeah, trying to, for kids, I'm trying to like monitor what they watch. So even though you can always do that even without being there, but if I put it in their room, how do I ensure that if I send them to bed by 8, 8 p.m., they're actually sleeping and not watching TV? So do I have to now go check them maybe, very frequently? Maybe we'll ask these that. parents. My, my child Why is too small. Uh, I don't have that problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, let me read a few stats from the internet. So, according to Credit Karma, a third of BNPL users in the US default on their payments. 57% of users regretted their purchase because it was too expensive, according to C plus R research. 32% of users skipped on rent, utilities, and child support in order to meet BNPL obligations now 
it appears BMPO is becoming as problematic as dead because uh, one of the things that a lot of BMPO pioneers said, the likes of Klarna FM after periods, um, we are giving you an alternative to credit card debt. But we are now seeing that less than a decade later, um, it's becoming a huge problem. So as a result of that, a lot of countries are moving to regulate BNPO. So India, the US and UK, they're just three examples that have moved to regulate um, by now. Later. We are not yet sure when they will do the like serious regulations. So um, do you think regulation is necessary? And in what areas should regulations come in? All right, so I, I have read this particular article. I follow BNPL news a lot. I see this, and I'd like to think that CDK is the solution. And this is, how, this, this, this is what I mean. Um, BNPL, traditional BNPL, like AFM, Klana, Afterpay, encourages a lot of impulsive purchases. So when I say impulsive, you don't need this when you think about it second time or the third time but because you're able to pay $50 and get it you buy that shoe you buy that clothes and after purchasing it you now realize that you don't need it but it has already been done paying back you do not think too much about it now becomes a problem and that is why as far as we continue to encourage impulsive purchases mm. we always have that problem and it is one of the reasons why CDK would not deliver <laughs> ads. Would not deliver, would not let you pay half, mm. collect the item and spread the remaining. And that is because when we try that, we realize that we have a lot of impulsive purchases. What you should be using is a techno phone that is just good enough for your level, for your salary range. But because a CDK exists, you chose to go and buy an iPhone. Paying back now becomes a problem. So when you look at it in, in that sense, yes, BMPL might be regulated. But I, I, I just think that BMPL companies should stop. So I think it is the way it is ad- advertised. Mm-hmm. You see a BM, BMPL company advertise a phone for, so let's say the phone is 100,000 naira. And you say, this phone is 25,000 naira for four months or and most people would only see 25,000 naira and buy the phone. And eventually they get into debt, which is what we have seen. So um, the, the, the advertising is not very transparent. It makes you feel like you're buying the phone for 25,000 naira. Mm. And I like to think that encouraging credit debt is what, just encouraging debt is what these BMPL companies do. And it's a big problem. For me personally, I grew up, and the average Nigerian too probably will tell you that. Ah, don't borrow money, don't borrow money, sure, don't borrow yeah. money. That's the way most of us grew up. And that's why when we launched CDK, we thought about this. See, as much as we want to give people credit, we also have to encourage them to save, and which is what you will see CDK do. So if you are able to say you want to spare payment for four months, you want to spare payment for four months, fine. The first two months will be your savings period. You save one over four, Month one, month two, you have paid up to half. We deliver the product to you. Then month three, you pay month four, you pay. So I like to think that while BMPL is getting a lot of backlash, the traditional BMPL, CDK will probably solve CDK model of BMPL mm-hmm. probably solve that problem because we do encourage people to take on unsolicited debts, um, impulsive debts. That is because we also encourage people to save. So you're able to think about it properly. Be sure that you need this. I can tell you that most of the things that so I, I, I use TikTok introduced to me by one of my <laughs> colleagues at, at work. And I, I watch a lot of videos. And when you see many of these guys that would come and talk about BMPL and their regret on TikTok, maybe because I used to search BMPL on TikTok. I see Wait, you also videos. use TikTok for search? I, I just use, I, I just search BNPL, try and see videos around BNPL. Anytime I saw TikTok gives, suggests BNPL videos, videos around BNPL to me every time. So when you see some of these people that say they have a lot of young white boys and girls who come and tell yeah. you, I'm in debt to, I bought this shoe, I bought this clothes through BMPL and I'm unable to pay back. You just realize that, guy, yeah, this person does not exactly need this shoe or this phone at that moment. But because it seemed nice to get, it is cheap in that sense. You can pay a little money and get it. It becomes a problem in the long run. So maybe regulation is the word. 
maybe changing the way it is advertised, making people yeah, see. Because the UK was particular about the language yes. that is used in advertising. Um, and the, I think it's in India that is also particular about putting it, like making it very clear that you guys are actually getting a loan. It's not like you are, because the way it's advertised now is you want to buy, a, a, make a purchase for something like $50 and then you're probably paying about $15. And then they make it look like um, you are not getting a loan because that's the way it's phrased. It's phrased like an alternative to a credit card, whereas you're still getting a loan. I mean, different languages, but potato, potato is still the same thing that you're doing. So um, they are very, very particular about that. So you mentioned following BNP on news a lot. And you've probably seen uh, Mary Now Pay Later. You've seen It's Now Pay Later. It's Now Pay Later. Yeah. Travel now pay later. Uh, so I am just like when I saw ba- Mary now pay later, I I was trying to make a joke out of it. So um, I'm Igbo, and there's something we usually say when you go for weddings, they will tell you, um, just let me not speak Igbo, sure. But in order to, uh, when it's translated, it said it means um, you don't finish marrying a wife, or marriage is never ever completed. That's that ceremony. So the idea is that. You could, you don't need to pay every single thing at once. And then, when I thought about it, marry now, pay it. I mean, it makes a lot of sense, especially in Nigeria, where a lot of people, um, they just want to, like, like you said, they want to do weddings that are above their budget. And I'm just wondering if it ever gets into Nigeria, with our propensity for flamboyant weddings, it's probably going to be a big deal. But then, how else? You've already mentioned that um, with CDK's model of so, marry now, pay later. <laughs> I think CD, I think BNPL should not be used for non-material I- items. Mm. So, I mean, if you default, I can't go and de- uh, you go I can't annul your marriage. Yes. So you know what CDK does, and that is why we are able to keep our defaults very low. What's your rate like? Your default rate? Less than zero point five percent. Interesting. And. What we have done is we only sell items with good second hand value. So what I mean is you won't see all see us sell clothes at the moment, sell shoes. Mm-hmm. It means that when we deliver an item to you, that item serves as a collateral for in quotes the credit that we are giving to you. So we are buying a TV that costs two hundred thousand mm-hmm. naira. You've mm-hmm. paid hundred thousand naira. Yeah. That means we've given you credit of hundred thousand naira in quotes. Um, our collateral with you is that TV that costs two hundred thousand naira. So our items are collateral. Um, so if I do marina Pelita, <laughs> what's the collateral? <laughs> I think while it might become a big deal if it comes into the country, it is eventually going to be a disaster. Mm-hmm. And that is because when you look at the idea of marriage and doing this celebration most people will come and tell you that ah this marriage was too expensive i am already in debt i am doing this i am doing that i think i sincerely think that part of the regulation <laughs> <laughs> should be that be, you never ever offer no that marry now pay later maybe it's now pay later seems like a good idea you are hungry and at that moment, your salary is not in. I assure you will get money in the evening. Yeah. Maybe it's a good idea. I don't like it. I don't like it because if you fail to pay me, I cannot come and take the money from your stomach. I cannot come and take the food from your stomach. Mm. I think BNPL should not be used for anything that does not have a good resale mm. value. Because when you look at it, we are in Nigeria. People lose their job and they are unable to get on that one over a period of sometimes two months, one month. And these things are normal. Companies are going out of business and they have to lay off staff. So that means that guy that is buying the television from you on buy now pay later truly wants to pay if you look at it. But he has the lost spirit his job. is willing, but the money, the money is not, not there. there. So that is why you have to also give a way for the customers to be able to give you a collateral. Mm-hmm. For example, on CDK today, if you buy a television that costs 200000 naira and uh, you choose a four-month month plan, or let me let me use a longer. You choose an eight-eight months plan. We deliver to you on month four, and you are unable to pay 
let's say month six, and we give you a, a month, month seven, you are unable to pay. We advise you, we turn television to us. We are able to help you sell it off at maybe one hundred eighty thousand. We take about one hundred thousand, and we give you your eighty thousand back. That that is what we encourage, and it also helps you to get back on track with the eighty thousand. You can probably still start something for yourself. Mm-hmm. If you look at it, without TV, you will not die. Mm-hmm. Just return the item. Let's sell it off. Give you your money when you are able to get a new job. Come back and buy the TV, and that is what we encourage. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. We'll, we'll go for a break and uh, when we get back we'll continue this conversation thank you hi i'm abisola adenoga the head of business at tech point africa did you know that you could present yourself as a reputable brand leader did you know that your business can get the limelight it deserves now you do using tech point africa's marketing tools we can put you in the faces of a large audience for brand awareness and port leadership to do this reach out to us by sending an email to business at techpoint.africa or click on the link in the description below. All right, um, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the ad or not. So um, let's go ahead. So one of the challenges that any any lender of any sort in Nigeria, even in Africa, faces is that the lack of a centralized credit bureau. So I borrow money from GT Bank and First Bank doesn't know and I go there and I borrow money. And this is something that people have been doing for ages. They just go to several places and borrow money. And BNPR startups are having to face the same challenge. You don't know where... It's also one of the reasons why um, countries like the UK, India and US are trying to regulate this because um, BNPR startups, it's almost like they don't really know where you guys fall in. So they don't know how to even regulate you because one, you're not primarily a lender and you're also not an e-commerce company. So where do you even start? So there's no centralized credit bureau where everybody goes and you can see a record of loans that someone has taken. So there's a, there's a possibility that you've taken like tons of loans and then when it's time for you to repay, you now default because you have a lot of loans to cover. How are... Uh, how can buy now pay later startups ensure that the lack of a central database is not an issue? And do you think there's a there's an opportunity for someone to build a centralized credit bureau or something like that that just helps BNPL startups to always know whether someone has taken out a loan somewhere or is financing another purchase somewhere? The truth is that <coughs> there are credit bureaus in Nigeria at, at the moment. I think the problem that we have is that most credit providers don't submit information. And even when it is submitted, it is not updated on time. So if I submit information today, it might take two months, it might take two months for it to get updated. In the period of two months, a lot, a lot of damage can be done. Truth of the matter is, it needs to be built. Um, while it's being built, I, I think the worry for most players, so when I say players, BNPL providers, credit providers is data. So if I give information about my, my best customers, yeah. um, am I sure you will not go and outbid me, if you understand what I mean? Yeah. It is a worry point, but I believe that the function of having a trusted body Maybe an individual building a company mm. or the government setting up a, a, a product or better said an entity that really works and regulates this. We need it. I can tell you for free that we have some notorious defaulters on CDK that it is after we delivered to them that we realized that this person is in the habit of anything credit, anything that would help them to get money. Their plan is not to pay back. <laughs> they take advantage and get it. And they need to be stopped. And it is one of the reasons why credit will still be unattractive for investors in Nigeria. That is because there is no way to make people not get away with credit defaults. So this is what I mean. In more in developed worlds, if you are owing a particular company, 
you probably be unable to do a number of things. Maybe rent a house, do this, do that. But in Nigeria, you can oh, and still contest for president. <laughs> you can oh, and still contest as a senator. Did you understand what I mean? So there has to be a kind of, and that is why you see many of these so-called startups go the unethical way of sharing people's contacts because they just need to shame you. They want you to feel like there's a repercussion for not paying. Mm. I think the government should just take it up. If you are unable to pay, if 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 you don't pay a particular loan, you can't get an, another one. If you don't pay, you cannot have access to a number of things. I think that's there has to just be a penalty for default. Mm. So speaking of competition, with the number of people coming in, both the ones you know and the ones you don't know, are you? Um, I mean. The market is not so large. It, it, number of people who can afford, um, like really high ticket items, the market isn't that large. And then we have a lot of people swooping in to provide the same services. So are you worried about competition? Truth is, CDK is on its own league or in, in its own league. So what I mean is, what we do is different. Every other person does traditional BNP. Mm. What CDK does is a modified BMPL that you can call save and pay later. And one of the reasons why we don't worry too much about in fact, you can choose to say our competitor are not just BMPL companies. Kawiwa is a competitor. <laughs> Saving apps are competitors because CDK is a better way to save towards getting items. Also, we like to think banks are even competitors because instead of buying and paying small, small, why not just go and borrow money from the bank? So one of the things that makes us feel, feel comfortable is that if you want to use other products that are our competitors today, there is a threshold. If I tell you for the first time, you cannot buy items worth more than 50,000 or 100,000 naira. What you probably want to buy is 300,000 naira. Mm. So you are forced to settle for CDK that will allow you to buy a first time item for 300,000 naira. Also, you said that the market is small. Mm. Why is the market small? Market is small because these people are targeting, everybody is targeting banked customers. People have a bank account that can log in their GT bank for you to check their account statements, for you to do all of those things. CDK's market is bigger because even if you are a woman that sells food by the roadside, as far as you can afford to commit an amount monthly or weekly, Remember, we don't only do monthly installments. We do yeah. weekly installments. Mm-hmm. You are able to use CDK. And that is why today, CDK is one of the biggest BMPL companies in Nigeria. BMPL in quotes. Because almost anybody can use CDK. Mm-hmm. Almost anybody. You don't have to have a bank account that is sophisticated in quotes to buy a TV on CDK. Just come. Start your 12 months installment, JJ. And start paying for your TV little by little. You get your TV delivered to you. No stress. We don't ask you for your father's name. In fact, you don't even have to give us your BVN. If you, all you have is NIN, you can use CDK. Do you understand what I mean? So, for us, our market is wider. Because we are not limited to only banked customers. Yeah. Both banked and banked. We have organizers that you are used CDK. We have market women that use CDK. We have, in fact, one of the things that makes us happy is when these mamas call and say, hello, let me say it in your, <laughs> so that means that woman that sells maybe pepper by the roadside, there's a particular one, I, I, I don't know, I think she sells pepper or something and one of our guys wore the CDK shirt mm. to the market the other day and the person told the woman about CDK. So because we had this product that goes to them to collect the money, the man was paying little by little. Oh, interesting. So you you don't they don't even need a smartphone. Yes. So we have okay. it's a it's a new product. It's, oh. it's not yet very. We we are calling it Fajora. We've not been publicizing it very much. Fajora means using a job to buy it. Mm. So these market women will be paying little by little, and they will get a blender. They will get a television. So imagine that that market woman that at home she's using yeah. grinding stone to grind pepper. Now she's able to afford the blender because of what CDK does. Our children that will go and watch TV in the neighbor's house, peeping through the window. She you cannot buy a 32 inches TV. What she can afford softly, easily. And she's, she does her job in normal days. She's used to it, which is what CDK does. Weekly, she just pays. And she's able to afford that TV. That is one of the things. In fact, if despite all the challenges of 
BNPL e-commerce in, in the country, if mm. we want to say what is the thing that drives us today to continue to build this product, is the fact that these women, especially who call us and say, thank you, I've received my blend out now, I, I don't have to use Garden Stone again, and you know we deliver all over the country. Mm. We, are, we are not only limited to Lagos, there are people in Ocean State, that smart TV, the luxury, like, the they never imagined that they'll be able to afford one. Now, having a product that helps them to afford one easily makes them feel very, very happy. And we get their calls every time. They are going to call and say, thank you, I have received my pool. Tell them, go and leave review for us online. <laughs> There's no way for them to even leave the review for us online. But mm. we get that a lot. And it helps us to continue to move on and get the job done. So I have a question about this new product. Okay. One of the challenges that... Um, online commerce or e-commerce in Nigeria or Africa faces is low trust. So, I don't know you. I can't see you. So, how do I pay you <laughs> for a product? So, and how have you been able to... Especially for these people who are offline. I mean, they don't... Ex- do you have an office? Yes. Maybe. Where they can come? Yes, but of course, you know, people cannot come from Abuja to Lagos. Exactly. So how do you... I mean, since you're ju- you just launched it, it's probably just in Lagos. But well, how were no, you able to... just in Lagos. It's in our environment. Oh, okay. Interesting. Our office environment, only that small area. So how have you been able to walk around trust? So when we launched CDK, it was one of our biggest problems. Mm. Um, you know, with CDK, you have to save. Um, it's not pay on delivery. Yeah. It is not see product before you for you by um we were able to solve it it was gradual we knew that we were going to have, have that challenge and mm-hmm. it's it makes sense you're a nigerian automatically you are thinking mm? this person wants to take advantage of me this person wants to take my money and, and not give me value because it has happened to either you your someone friend you know. or, or someone you know so it makes sense for you to think that way and we understood it from the onset so we had a team dedicated to calling people Pointing them to reviews online, and we also I mean, someone could also say you are buying those reviews or doctoring those reviews. Yes. So one of the things that we also did, and it worked very well for us, when we started, we were listing products that are expensive. We started listing small Nokia phones, electric iron that people can. Some some people some, some of these people can gamble with five thousand. <laughs> They're like, let me buy iron, mm-hmm. let me buy Nokia phone. When that Nokia phone or that electric iron. Small, small items that cause flash drive get delivered. They now say, okay, this works. Okay, I'm coming try. back to buy more. So that is how we were able to solve the aspect. Mm. Truth of the matter is, there's always a t- trust problem. Yeah. Up till today, we still have people come and say, how do I trust you? But it's, it is easier now. Um, when you go on Google and you search CDK, you see bad and good reviews. Mm. When you go on Play Store and you check CDK, you see bad and good reviews. People would over time, come to see that this product works. There is no way a product will have 100k downloads on Google Play Store, stay Mm. for two years and be scamming people. It is not possible. Mm. Okay. So, you keep on referring to save now and pay later. And um, I, sometimes I just, I call it a brain wave. I'm just thinking about how an existing company or an existing business can add other products that could be useful. So I just don't like switching between several apps and I suspect there are at least one or two other people like me. Since you're like a financial service product in a way, do you have plans of in the future layering savings? Like I'm not really saving to buy a product now, but basically a piggy vest on CDK. Do you have any plans for that? So while you may call us a financial service product. We still like to think that we're an e-commerce business. Okay. And that is because it puts us in a very safe space, if you understand what I mean. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, maybe when we are able to navigate regulation around it, we can say, you don't have anything to buy in mind, though. Come and start committing 30000 out of your salary mm-hmm. to CDK every month. Anytime you have something to buy, we double that amount for you and you're able to buy it. So let's say you wake up one Sunday and you want to buy a car that costs one million and you have saved 500000 on CDK. It's just, you're looking to snap your finger and say, CDK, give me my, give me my one million car and we deliver to you. Do you understand what I mean? So, yes, 
we are able to do that. It is something that we have thought about, but at the moment, we don't have what it takes to do it. Maybe as time goes on, in the nearest future, we'll be able to push it. What CDK is basically building, um, we might be doing only gadgets and appliances. Of course, we have started doing cars now. Is mm-hmm. the mortgage system for Africa. And that is why I was save and pay later. Makes sense. If you go to the US today, and you want to, you, can, you will hear that someone that moved to the US five years ago is buying a house. Two of the matter is that that person is not buying the house cash down. The person has over time built credit history. The huh? person has also saved over time, over a period of that five years, maybe mm-hmm. one quarter or maybe one tenth of the cost of the house. You have to save it over a period of time and you deposit for the house, then you own it. CDK is going to be able to, of course, we know that now you are paying out before you collect your products. In the nearest future, maybe able to say, get to one third. Do you understand? It doesn't have yeah. to be have to get at your product. But there will always be that saving feature because we believe that it helps to encourage people not to go into unsolicited um, debt. It helps to avoid impulsive purchases. So CDK is basically building the mortgage system for Africa. So in the nearest future, when you start your job as a young Nigerian, Mm-hmm. You can start saying, this is what I am setting aside to buy my house in the next 10 years or 5 years. Do you understand what I mean? So you can move into a new house in 5 years. And you're mm-hmm. able to start to continue paying. Might be, might be a 5 year period or a 10 year period. But CDK will for finance that purchase and give you a perfect payment plan. That is what we are building. You want to buy a machine. Whatever it is that you want to do as far as it is a product that we can use as collateral. Yeah. We'll, we'll finance it for you. So are you also looking at um, getting into the B2B space? I mean, there are a lot of startups that are financing B2B. Uh, they are financing like small businesses or even other large businesses, but a lot of them are usually very niche. So it could be pharmacy. Um, it could be other fintech startups. Like they just are very, very niche. So do you have any plans for doing that? So my honest opinion, I, I have another product <laughs> computer that does B2B credits um, in that sense. That's because we fix computers for companies and they mm. pay us maybe at the end of the month. Yeah. B2B credit is bad business. Interesting. Some people but claim it's good business. Yes. For me, I think it is bad business. Maybe because I did not navigate it well. I like to always leave that disclaimer. Maybe I didn't do it well enough. Um, a company will be owing you. You will get to that company and the CEO will tell you it is the accountant. The accountant will tell you it is the CTO or it is somebody else. If I'm moving you around if you are owing me money and I know you and you are an individual, <laughs> the day I see you is the day I will collect my money. But I can go to a company today and say, give me my money and they will both, they will push me to like four people and I will not still be able to collect my money. They will be telling you this is the company. And the company is not something that you can hold. If you understand what that means. So, yeah. B2B credits at this stage of our business knowledge is not exactly, my, my co-founder and every other person on my team is not exactly space that we want to go into because we think that it's bad bad business mm. okay so what are some of the i mean you've probably had a lot of challenges can you share some specific experiences you've had um with cdk either with your customers or anything ah many <laughs> challenges so um so you know cdk is a compound product Mm. We are running e-commerce. We are also almost doing savings. We are also almost doing loan, if you understand what I mean. Um, so one, on the e-commerce side of it, Nigeria as a space, maybe SON standard mm. organization of Nigeria needs to help us solve this. Many of the products some of the products that are being sold in the country can be mm. better. The quality can be better. Also, maybe consumer protection needs to also help, help, help us solve this. When products are delivered to customers, so you know CDK does not manufacture products. Yeah. Um, we partner with manufacturers, distributors in the country. When some products are delivered and they are damaged on delivery, the ideal thing that should happen is a replacement. But you realize that many of these vendors who we don't control, of course, they have their own business. We can only threaten them and tell them we will not buy from them again. But ideally, they come and tell you that they are not replacing. They are going to fix. I deliver a new TV to you. 
Imagine the TV on delivery is not showing, and you are telling me that I, I have to return it and you will go and fix it. You will not want it. So many times, CDK usually have to bear the loss. We replace the TV for the customer and probably fix the old one that, of course, with the, with the with the distributor, and we have to sell it over the used value. It is a big problem, and it's a big problem because only consumer protection can solve it. If they are saying that that is their policy, and this is their policy, it is written online. It's everywhere. It's in their terms and condition. It is their policy. There's nothing anybody can do about it. So it is one of the challenge. Another challenge that we have that we faced while growing is logistics. So CDK ships to every part of the country, and I can tell you that that is a very big deal. Um, but now we are beginning to solve that gradually. So logistics is a game of numbers. Yeah. The more numbers you have going to a particular area, the more it makes sense for logistics companies to partner with you. So now that CDK is growing reasonably well. Mm-hmm. We are able to have enough numbers to push it. But when we launched, hey, it was L. Um, we used to, at that time, carry products to the park ourselves. Myself and my co-founder put it on our head. <laughs> we carry it to the park and beg these drivers, please, help us deliver the product. Mm-hmm. We call the customer, sir, we have this challenge. You. We are going to refund your delivery fee. Imagine that we are also sending that product with our money, but we are refunding that customer's delivery fee. The customer will not go to the park at his own end. It can be in an go state to go and collect the television. Imagine you're you going to collect 55 inches television at the park. It's a big problem. So it's, it's these are problems that we are beginning to solve little by little. Thankfully, GIG is helping us to solve many of these problems too because we have enough numbers mm. to g- get their business now. So they are able to help us ship some of these items. Despite all of that, I think. Navigating Nigeria's Nigeria's landscape is just a problem. There are some places that GIG will not get to. Some places that GIG will tell you, I am not, we don't have anybody in this local government. So the customer has to come. So we still have to call the customer. So it is not automatic. It's not automatic in the sense that you still have to check manually at times and see, is GIG going to go here? Is GIG not going to go here? How do we navigate it? And gradually, gradually. So the good thing about I and DG, I mean DG and I is that. We see problem with the idea. We'll solve it because maybe because that's how we grew up. We grew up being rugged. This thing is our problem. We must solve it on time. And that's how we've been able to solve many of the problems. Another problem that we can think of is deliberate defaulters. So I am trying to avoid the word scammers. <laughs> um, and this is what I mean. People that ordinarily know that, no, I'm not going to pay for this iPhone. I just want to buy it. And disappear and what they do is they use fake identity so probably take their father's nin so when we started we used to have this photo verification feature you would find you would be surprised that somebody took his fa- so you will smile and you will frown on your face somebody took his dead father's picture smiling bypassed frowning bypassed and we delivered the product so you can imagine. So this are, this that's are, that's come. You're free to use the word. Yeah. So that is now. what we have had to solve for. So eventually, we had to build a proper life net detection system that now avoids that. So gradually, gradually, we see a problem. Like in every business, in every startup, there will always be a problem that you have to solve every day. We we'll find it. We we'll solve it. We're able to solve that. So the three that I can remember off the top of my head at the moment, but I can tell you that. Growing CDK is war. We are solving it every day. Another problem that we probably have is customer service. And if you check reviews online, you might find some people complaining about our customer service. The truth of the matter is that when you have a growing product, um, you have to also scale customer service to meet the demand of customers. Yeah. And that is what we are doing gradually. Yeah. Gradually, gradually. It's tough. But we are we are doing it. So you're telling you're telling me a story earlier of a customer's like a very very creative way that a customer tried to scam you guys. Can you share that? Can I have that story again? Yeah, the, the M Copper story. So we found a customer that bought an item <laughs> from us in. So we have a dedicated team. We call them a possession team, retrieval team. So what they do is 
As, once, that sounds uh, sounds uh, secret service like. Uh, not exactly. They are just normal random guys. Mm. Um, their job is basically to look out for people that deliberately want to not pay CDK. So of course, like I explained earlier, yeah. when you cannot afford your installments, we encourage you to return mm. the item to CDK. So we give you a period of sometimes a month, two months to pay. Then you come back and take your item. It's not that we are taking it from you permanently. To return it to us because we have given you a temporary receipt that has expired. That item is no longer your property. It's our property. So we expect that you return it to us. When you can now pick, you can come back and carry the item. There are some people that they will not yield. So that is what that team does to go and repossess the item. So this guy has been owing us, I think since March last year. That's 2021. We got him like two weeks ago or three weeks ago. So they've been trying to trail the guy. They will call him. Once he hears CDK, he will block the number. He has blocked almost all of our customer care <laughs> and repossession. So, like, so what we did was we searched him out and realized that he was trying to sell a land. So we, the team, the guy that handles the team, very great guy, Mike, Michael, he has a way of finding you <laughs> on Facebook, anywhere. That is because we just like to send a message that please don't come and play with CDK. We'll find you. Wherever uh, you go. <laughs> wherever you go. We are going to make find a, you. we are going to make a scapegoat of, of you. So we found the guy trying to sell a land on Gigi. As far as Epe. <laughs> My guys traveled to Epe and met the guy. Eventually, this guy had sold the CDK phone that we delivered to him because the, the it's simple. And that is why CDK is working. When we come to you, you can see you don't have money, which makes sense. People don't have money for a lot of reasons. But what we're asking you for is not money. What we deliver to you is a physical product Mm -hmm. that you're not supposed to sell or transfer ownership until you complete payment with CDK, which makes sense. It's not yet your own, so you cannot transfer ownership. But guys, we are not fighting with you. There's no, it's no, it's not a big deal. It is not a fight. Please give us the phone that we delivered to you, my brother. This guy had sold the phone that CDK had delivered to him. And he now has another phone that M Copper is financing with M Copper. What can we do? In such cases, you might say we should take that person to the police station, do this, do that. The truth of the matter is that. That's a necessary expense. Unnecessary expense. You can only threaten that person or say pay, pay. So eventually, the guy made an agreement to pay. That is because he was able to realize that as far as he's, he's in Nigeria, if these guys can use. This land I wanted to sell to, to, f- to find me. It means that they can find me. He made an agreement to pay the money. And last time I checked, I think I asked Michael. Michael is, like I said, is the one that handles that mm-hmm. section of my team. The guy is paying gradually. Ridiculous amount weekly, but the most important thing is going to pay our money because mm-hmm. he has now come to realize that, ah, see the care will find me anywhere I go. Mm-hmm. So, did you guys. Um, so when you find people like this, I mean, yes, there's probably no central database for that, but do you share your data with other competitors like to just show them, oh, this guy has defrauded us, so you guys should look out for There's him no platform to share to it. Do that. So even if we want to share it, mm. I can tell you that I would happily join anybody is doing that. that is doing that. And that is because it just makes Nigeria safer. Mm. Like Nigeria's credit space, if uh, investors will be able to come in mm-hmm. and say, Yes, use my money for credit, I know I will get it back because there's a platform that ensures that anybody who defaults there deliberately mm-hmm. is going to is going to be punished for it. And when you also look at it, I like to think that the idea of credit giving people money. Which is what many of the startups that we have in the country do. Give them five thousand, six thousand. Is I, I wonder how they do it. I, I know a number of people that will collect that money as used to play Nigerbet. True. And if you collect ten thousand naira and you pay Nigerbet and the money flies, how do you want to pay? That is why you will call them. They will not answer your call. That is why they will block this line. It's kind of people have to know that when I default, yes, I will not, I will not get. An, I will. I will not get another one. One, two. I'll be punished for it. I had Carbon's co-founder, someone I respect so much, um, Dozier. He was saying that, and I wonder how they did that. Some people owe them for a very long period of time. 
and it is until the point when they want to travel out of the country and they are doing this verification with the embassy or whatever it is, mm. that they now tell them that you are owing this company. Go and pay. I overheard him saying it in one of his interviews, which is a good thing, but that's too long. Yeah, Why because do we what if I don't have to? What if I'm not leaving the country? Yes. What if I'm still here? Yes. So it is. It is. It is a problem that we have to solve internally, such that. So what people also do is, there's something called card tokenization. So they tokenize their card, GT Bank card. Mm. Immediately they take, they get value of the loan or the credit. They stop putting money in GT Bank. They move it to Zenith Bank. Start moving money to Zenith Bank or to another bank, mm. or Kuda was popular for that one time. People would just stop using their bank account and go open Kuda accounts and start <laughs> using Kuda accounts. It's something that we have seen. Yeah. And I think the Central Bank of Nigeria has to help to create a centralized system where with your BVN, if you are owing a loan on your GT Bank account and it can be proven that you are totally owing, owing this loan, it can be moved from your Zenith. I think there's something like that that I have read, but it is not yet mainstream. Come on. Can, money can be taken from your Zenith bank account or any bank account that you are running in the country. That might be a step in the forward direction to solve all of these problems. Because in Nigeria today, money will shine enter one of your bank accounts. Mm-hmm. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. So if you are if you know that you will lose the next money that went to your bank account, you would pay. Mm. Okay. So that has, this has been a very interesting conversation. Um thank you so much, Toby. Thank you. Very so yeah, viewers, thank you so much for staying with us. I think that was probably a bit long, but the the idea was to get as much information from him about the buy now pay later industry as possible. So yeah, thank you so much for staying with us to the end, and I hope you had a great time. So wherever you get this podcast, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, for those of you who would prefer audio, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify i had trade you and some other platforms that i'm probably not aware of where you can go there get this podcast leave a comment leave a message on social media and we will respond to you so thanks so much bye